Hi, I'm Sulaiman Surani. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video tutorial will be focusing on creating another IG filter, but this time animation sequences. As you can see on my screen here, I have a um, few texture flickering going on here. So that's what we'll be creating today, um, an overlay on Spark AR Studio. So let's get started. So let's start by applying LUT to our filter first. I'm just going to use an existing LUT from the AR library. If you want to learn how to create LUT from scratch, you can check out my video here just by clicking on the top right hand corner of the screen. So uh, from the AR library, I'm just going to select and I'm just going to use the one called Western and I'm going to import that in. Download and click done. I'm gonna close this. I'm just going to right click actions and apply to camera. So we've done this before. You can check out my previous tutorials on creating LUT from scratch. And I'm going to add a new canvas. And under canvas, I'm going to add a rectangle. And I'm going to change the width to fill width and height to fill height. And I'm going to click a new material for this one. Material 0. So material 0 here, let's call this texture. And in the texture um, panel here on the right side, I'm going to change this to flat. And for the texture here, I'm going to click and I'm going to look for new animation sequence. So you see on the in the assets panel here for animation sequences and animation sequence 0. So here, I'm going to choose new texture. I'm going to import this tree. I have this image, um, a screen texture that I actually got from the internet. I have um, one, I have the other the texture, and I have a third one. I'm going to import all three. And you can see under texture here, I have screen texture. And immediately here, I already can see the animation going on. My frame per second, all right, is currently by default set at 25, 25 frames per second. And I can reduce this because I only have three textures. So I'm going to bring down this to five. And this is something that you can play around with. I think I'm going to go with five. And I'm going to have it looped. So I'm going to have that checked. And if I go back to my uh, texture, screen texture one to three here, and I'm going to always change this, the compression to none. And under material here, um, earlier we actually changed this to flat. Um, I will also change the blend mode to subtract. As you can see there, over there. And I'm going to bring down the opacity to maybe about 24%. So that's basically how you actually add animation sequence to your IG filter. Give it a try and let me know if you have enjoyed this tutorial. And this is how it looks like on Instagram. I hope you have found this video tutorial useful. And if you do, please help to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video tutorial.